I cannot see it because this is no longer live. Uh, we are making a rose handbag. This is by Bagstock Designs. I do have a video making this pattern while not live, so if you want more of a tutorial, feel free to check that out. The thread that I am using is Amon Thread Bonded Polyester. It is a Tex 90. The color is um, 8857U, I think. So anyway, I'm gonna wind some bobbins really quick and then we will get started on making it. Um, I don't have a terribly long time to hang out, but I do get to finish this bag and I am, oh, I'm winding bobbins, very excited. Um, so I already have two bobbins made, but I'm just gonna make, um, I guess I really only need to make like one more bobbin. This bag doesn't take too much, so. Good morning to Australia. Hi, Debbie. I'm gonna wind one more bobbin. I, I just, I don't wanna run out. Hello everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. Oh, I need to grab some zipper tape also really quick. Um, so yes, we are making the rose handbag from Bagstock Designs. I am doing the method, method? I'm making it the way I want. <laughs> so the way I did a tutorial on it, which is basically like two fronts of the bag instead of using the back panel but either way. Um, this is the replacement bag for that Lola that broke on a customer. I don't know if you guys saw that like in a mail opening video or anything, um, but I'm finally making her a replacement and I figured if she's gonna wear it crossbody, the Lola really isn't the one for her. Um, so I messaged her back and I was like, what about this one? I haven't heard back, but I think she's gonna love it because she was like, pretty much anything, you know? So this one's similarly sized. Um, and I actually charge a little bit more for this one than the Lola, so she's getting a good deal. You know, she's getting a good deal. Uh, let's grab zipper tape really quick. Whoa. So we're using light gold. Oh, hi, Wendy. I'm so glad you could join us for a live. Um... Do I not have a light gold neutral? Oh, there they are. Perfect. So these um, door organizers are amazing for zipper tape. And just saying doors have two sides. Okay, so go ahead and grab this neutral color. I'm gonna cut out some pieces. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I have a total of three zippers. So I'm just gonna cut two that are like 10 inches and one that's like 19 inches, just so I have enough. Yeah. So a lot of the zipper tape I've purchased from other people, but a lot of the times when I have zipper by the yard that goes on sale, I keep a couple inches a couple inches, a couple yards for myself. So, super fun. And I actually just recently got rid of a ton of zipper by the yard too. Cause I was like, I can't, I'm not using all of it. I need to get rid of it and purge, purge. Okay, let's 
I need to grab another zipper pull. Yeah, you can hang those off the wall too. <laughs> good, good idea, Shauna. All right, so the hardware that I needed for this bag was purse feet. I personally need a total of three zipper pulls, one zipper end, one magnetic snap, and then I'm using two one inch D-rings. I haven't sewn in a while and I'm kind of like, where do I start? <laughs> hey, Rochelle. I start by ironing my zippers. That's, that's one thing. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Cynthia says, I'm new to your channel and I'm really enjoying your tutorials. Thanks so much for sharing your talent. Happy to do so. The small talent I have. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. I really need to purchase a new iron. I just love the Aliso. I love the idea of the Aliso iron, but like, is Dorothy sleeping? Dorothy is with Papa. Um, but yeah, she is taking a nap. Um, price range is my chair. I think it's like 220 or something like that. Uh, Rochelle, I did see the fake profile situation. That's insane. I don't understand. Um, oh, before, well, I'll wait till there's a little couple more viewers because I have something I want to discuss. <laughs> that sounds so bad. We need to have a talk, you guys. Uh, there are zippers, zipper by the yard packs for sale at my website, and there's actually still fabric uh, available, which is insane. Uh, Vashara says, do you use the diaper bag you made? Yes, I use the Golden Girls one that I made and the one that I added chain stitching to. What a large backpack it is. It is. I love it. Yeah, that's what I use as my diaper bag now. It's the Fun Bobby. Okay, where, where do I even start? Um, well, I've got all my lining pieces staring at me in the face, so I guess I'll go ahead and start there. Um, I'll work on the slip pocket first. Oh no, a talk, are we in trouble? No one's in trouble. <laughs> no, um, there is something, okay. So, Cheryl, there's like tiny little straps for this bag and the crossbody strap that I made for her other bag is what I'm using for this bag. So I don't even have to make a crossbody strap or anything. Um, so when the pandemic hit, um, I know a lot of people worked from home or had small businesses and they were severely affected. So I had thought but didn't about doing like a blessing post where people kind of share their PayPal and we give a little bit to everybody but I know that there are bad people sometimes that maybe would have taken advantage of the situation that didn't actually need anything. So I decided just maybe don't do that. Um, my friend Nicole and a couple of her, um, Nicole of Sonar and a couple of her friends started something called Makers for Mutual Aid, I believe is the name. Um, and so I wanted to auction off a few bags where um, I would ship it for free internationally or domestically. And um, they would be bags that I maybe used or they aren't 100% perfect, stuff like that. Um, so I wasn't sure where the best place to do that would be, whether it be my Facebook group, my Facebook page, um, something like that. But I would auction off um, one of the diaper bags that I didn't like, I would auction off this one and then I think um, a trailblazer bag that I made a really long time ago. I think the only one I ever made. So it would be three different bags. Um, but I just wasn't sure where the best place to do it would be. Or if we want to do like a raffle where everybody get like PayPal's $5, 
to the makers for mutual aid and then we keep track. Um, I haven't talked to Nicole about it either, but I wanted to get how we were going to do it out of the way. So let me know what you guys think um, or if you're even interested in something like that. So basically, I'd be auctioning off a bag. I don't want to do eBay because the fees are insane. So I would already be covering like shipping and stuff like that. And I would hate to, you know, or maybe I can raffle one and auction another. Raffles. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Nikki does a ton of those. You right, you right. Um, but yeah, shipping would be free internationally and domestically. Is domestically a word? Raffle? Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that. So then, um, raffles are fun. <laughs> a waffle on Facebook. <laughs> I know that's a typo, but it's, I want waffles now. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, not everyone can stay with an auction. Yeah, that's true. Well, it, um, so I used to do auction bags for charity, um, in my, in one of the Facebook groups I ran. So it would be like a 24 hour thing. Pardon you, but still. Yeah, that's true. That goes to the person with the most money and I hate to think someone's, you know, foregoing a meal or rent or something just to bid on a bag so yeah okay raffle raffle it is and i will talk to nikki because i trust her knowledge how much is the batwing wallet oh yeah i guess i could auction the batwing wallet off too um i am not taking any custom orders or anything like that so we're gonna have a waffle. <laughs> so I do apologize. All right, so I'm starting with my lining pieces just to get it out of the way. Adding my zipper pocket and my slip pocket. I'm not gonna talk about what I'm doing fully just because you guys know. You've seen a million videos. Never hurts to repeat, but. I'm also fighting the clock. <laughs> the nap clock. Okay. Is the lighting bad? Do I, should I change the angle so you can see a little bit better? Okay, raffle, yeah. Um, but they have an Instagram. You can check out the information and apply if you need to. It is completely um, words. I mean, it's free to apply. You may not get anything, but they're trying to help as many people as possible who have been affected um, and qualify. Um, I did not make my top. The zipper template is from Tops and Bobbins. I was like, I guess I need to attach all my zipper pulls, but I did it. Everything is just like second nature muscle memory. I would love to count how many bags I've made, but I want to say it's got to be like 600 by now. Seriously. Um, how is the video quality? We got new internet. So I'm just curious. A 
Oh, thank you, Cheryl. How are you doing? That's good, that's good. Okay, cool. Facebook waffle is you sell spaces as many as you want and then they're filled, you pick. Oh, she didn't, it wasn't a typo. <laughs> awesome, it's pixelated. Uh, why do I not sew the ends of my zipper block? Because it can cause puckering in the corners. So it's really up to you. Sew them, don't sew them. Girl, you don't want to know. Yeah. I know I've seen a few posts about what's going on, Cheryl. So, sending a big, giant hug. How long did it take you to do a perfect... I mean, I still don't make perfect bags. Um, watching from Dubai. Hello. Yeah. The lighting is not so good. Yeah, that makes sense. It's not great lighting down here in the basement. And I'm not pulling out a ring light. I know sometimes I get sad, like, oh, I should make better quality videos, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, oh, that's right, no. I'm lazy. <laughs> Um, so when you don't snip the ends, you just have to make sure that your little triangles, or when you don't sew the sides, you want to make sure your triangles are in as far as possible. So we are birthing through this bag, so I'm going to leave the bottom open. <laughs> so I'm going to fold both pieces up. I'm going to trim the excess on the sides, especially down at the bottom so that there is less bulk when you fold that down. So I'm going to set this over here in my done pile. We're done. Um, I want to go ahead and work on the front panel just because that's going to be more fun for me right now. Help my brain focus a little better. Someone asked what Juki I use. It is the DU1181N. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on adding the snap pieces. Go ahead and sew this first. Thank you, Aslan. Yeah, the fabric is um, 
little baby Snorlax from Pokemon. Oh, yay. Giving you something relaxing to watch. Was there anything else I needed to talk about? Yeah, there's a lot of fabric still left in stock. Lots of zipper by the yard. <laughs> oh, new magnets are coming. You guys, I'm so excited. Um... So all of the machine magnets we technically make, we glue on the magnet, um, but I have a ton of new designs coming that I'm so excited about. Um, there's one that says clip it good, and then there's a scissor design that says stay sharp. And I am so excited for them to come. I think they'll be here on the 15th. Um, might be a really busy day for me, so we'll have them up by that Friday. This is my slip pocket that goes on the front. And this is my fabric that goes behind. Um, last time I used waterproof canvas for that back piece of fabric. And this time I was like, I mean, I have a little bit of this fabric left. I may as well use it up. So that's what's going on there. That's the top. We're adding a zipper to the other one. Oh, enjoy your hair clip. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, the hair clips are some of my favorites. Um, I also have another idea for some when I can finally do it um, and do like butterfly clips that look like scissors. Mm, I want them so bad. <laughs> I think there was one night I was like waiting for Dorothy to be officially asleep and not just like you know, taking a small nap. Um, and I was sketching it out and then she woke up, so I had to feed her and, and then I never got back to it. <laughs> so I hope to get back to it eventually. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a stitch length of four around the curve backstitch to secure it. Um, so you can use pinking shears if you want to trim this down. I'm just gently snipping in at the curves because I, I want it to be like a nice chunky. Oh, Kira says she got some vinyl, some of the kitchen floral vinyl. Yes, I'm so excited. I, um, I'm really excited for this pattern. I just have had zero time to like sit down and write it. Trying to get a good routine down and with releasing zippers and fabric it means my day is spent packing orders in between putting Dorothy down for a nap and feeding her and all that good stuff. Okay. Stitch length to five. Still around that curve, nice and slow. I'm using a size 19 needle for anyone that is wondering.
Uh, bringing back the rhinestone hair clips, I will not, unfortunately. All right, so I've clipped on my flap. I'm going to set it on top here. It's so cute. And then I'll attach this top piece. How old is Dorothy? She is four months on February 10th. Four months. Can you believe it? I can't. I cannot believe it. Ooh, good catch, Kara. Did we have an orange door hinge? Just a Rudy Judy. <laughs> I hate Rudy Judy's. I know that in this pattern you're supposed to top stitch that up, but I just, I like it. I can't do it. I want to top stitch here. everything I just love the shape of this bag so much so I hope my customer does too okay so I'm gonna set that aside for now and then we'll work on the other front panel which is gonna have that zippered pocket my zipper on. This feels wrong. I'm not doing it that way. There we go. Literally either way is correct, but it's just not what I'm used to. Uh, Sharon says you are awesome. You have stayed faithful to your YouTube. Everyone else quits YouTube tutorials for Patreon. Yeah. Um, there is also like YouTube memberships and I think that's pretty cool, but like I don't work hard on these tutorials for you guys. Like I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I half ass it. Let's be honest. Um, so I can't justify making you guys pay for this. <laughs> Plus that puts way more pressure on me <laughs> and I'm not into that. could make it optional then we could get emotes oh that's cool I know but I just can't justify the price like if anything it would be like the price of membership is a discount code for my website like that's that's what I'd rather that you guys get something that you can hold touch feel you know something tactile for your membership cool members only t-shirt. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, have we talked about the So Magical Expo in Florida yet? Because 
I don't know if I did, but I signed up to be a teacher. Um, we're gonna do the peekaboo, peekaboo, beauty bag, -be -be <laughs> the peekaboo beauty bag, and I'm really excited because that one's quick enough um, to do within a short class time setting. So I'm really excited. all of this together oh nope so the bottom first that's right I even like knew that I was going to forget that <laughs> this bag normally calls for foam and with all of the like waterproof canvas, etc., that I'm using, I decided to just omit it. I think it'll be too much going on. Um, I think for the class, we're gonna have the option to have um, a kit that comes with like pre-cut vinyl and. Um, pre-cut zipper tabs and a pre-made zipper by the yard piece just for some fun okay so there's my panels I'm making sure that they're the same height because I added that zipper pocket it's kind of a little bit longer because of the seam allowances so just keep that in mind if you're editing a pattern to just double check that they're similarly sized and make my straps really quick yep October 8th through the 10th is the so magical expo um, we don't have a new date if you signed up for the um, more you know workshop we don't have a new date for that just yet we were hoping April um, but we're just not sure with everything going on in the world if it's still going to be if it's going to be safe at that time so we will let you guys know as soon as we know when we know more you'll know more <gasps> goodness These are double-sided straps that are so cute. Although doing like a faux rolled handle on this bag would be pretty cute too. she likes this bag because <laughs> I used the last of the vinyl that matches um, I hope tonight I can finish filming the um, vinyl Q&A video we'll see how tired I am I 
have the mental energy. Yeah, this vinyl is gorgeous. I love this color. So I've got the top half and the bottom half, and then I'm just going to add a piece of double-sided tape to the center and stick it all together. Um, and that's a big reason I have two sizes of double-sided tape, just to make life easier. So that I'm not sewing through a ton of double-sided tape. All right, so then you're gonna put your folded sides together and you should see just like a quarter. Did I cut my straps too short? Eh, not too bad. So you can see that little hint of vinyl coming up on the other side. Double-sided straps are a lot of fun to make. They're um, a little bit domestic friendly. Did you sell the Rainbow Dice fabric? It was this month and it sold out. Um, so we might bring it back in June or July. I'm not sure. All right, so then I'm gonna top stitch along both sides. Probably the bottoms too. And there will be more vinyl next month if that sold out and it was something you were wanting. Um, I'm not selling a ton of vinyl right now. One space is limited to, I don't know how it holds up over time. Um, but I like the quality. So we'll see. I gotta wait to get more space. Dorothy's awake. Okay, so I'm gonna trim the excess handle. Um, Brenda says, watching you has made me excited to start bag making. Can you recommend a good place to get an industrial machine that doesn't cost an arm and a leg? Um, I kind of believe that you get what you pay for and you definitely want to go with somewhere reputable. Um, I purchased my machine off of Amazon and I can't say that I would recommend it or do it again. Um, so I think it just depends on where you're located. So if you're within the Midwest, sewing gold might be a good place to start um, or maybe um, sunny sewing machines. that um yes the vinyl from this month will be the same next month my machine i believe was 1300 i purchased it off of amazon which i already said my bad um worth every penny 10 out of 10 would do it again all right this bot this bag is wider at the bottom so keeping that in mind Lining up these side panels. Can't forget to add a nameplate, but I'm not sure where I want to do it yet. Happy Saturday, Charlie. How's it going? Charlie always messages me on Instagram and reminds me what dumb slash funny thing I said in a video that I don't recall saying. So, appreciate you for keeping me honest. <laughs> Yes, the um, discount code for the chair is so whatever. All one word, all caps. Um, I have a video opening the Technosport chair, one of them with my husband, and we kind of compare 
them as well, if you're curious. But of course you don't have to buy a Technosport. Um, I think pretty much any gaming chair would be comfy, but I will say I love Technosport's customer service. I had a piece of this chair break before I was an affiliate and they replaced it super quick. So. Do I miss not having a free arm? Because I have a baby? No, I'm kidding. I know what you're talking about, the machine. Um, I mean, I've learned how to get around it. I have a cylinder arm, but I don't love it, so. All right, so let me attach these panels. Um, someone messaged me asking if I had a machine recommendation. They were looking at several, and I never want to tell you you need this machine um, or this machine or you shouldn't buy that. I think it's all super personal preference. That's not helpful, but I don't want to be liable for what you purchased. <laughs> um, but just because I don't like my cylinder arm doesn't mean if it's your first industrial that you wouldn't like it because you learned to use a machine. And I just, I didn't learn to use that machine so it was always frustrating to use because I was so used to this one and how it works. So hopefully that makes sense. Yes, like Rachel said, I do have a video um, where I actually got to play with several, but it's so hard to know which I'd recommend without making a bag on it. Um, I know that I saw Jess with Oakla Roots just purchased a 1541, so she might have tutorials on using that one and it may sway you to a 1541. What I've heard is it's difficult to change out the foot and getting around zippers on a 1541 can be tricky, so that right there is enough to sway me against that. But if it's the only one you know, you'll learn how to quickly change out the foot, etc., or work around that, I don't want to say defect, but that feature. All right, so there is one of the main panels. Throw that in my Dunzo pile. Finish off this side. Um, and I am top stitching on the vinyl, folding my seam towards that direction. I even heard it. That's okay. It's not too bad. <laughs> I love how I blame my machine for that, but it's totally my fault. We can fix it. Yeah, it's like this, it's, it's just the perfect match. It's insane, I love it. Um, this vinyl is from Bodio, and they don't have any more that I've seen. I'll be honest, I haven't looked. I made this bag last in like January or something. So. Um, do I ever use pre-wound bobbins? I have, but I don't actively seek them out. I don't require that. Okay. 
So I'm placing these straps and I want them to be so that the Snorlax is on the front. So you want that to be facing down. And that goes right next to where we've sewn the overlay. So I'm gonna base that in place and then I'll add my um, nameplate. Hopefully we don't have more than like 30 minutes left of this bag in case you're curious how much longer it's gonna be because we got places to go. Not really. You might, I don't. I live here. Okay. want where the flap is to be the front of the bag so I'm gonna fold this in half well I have my middle line here so I'll just I'll use that as my jumping off point do like an inch from the top of the bag uh, we'll do an inch and a half I've had a lot of new people ask where I get my nameplates, and I do have a video all about nameplates that you can check out. Nameplates are a big scary purchase, so that video might be helpful to you on making a decision. I remember when I first got my nameplates, I was like, oh, oh. Whoa, this is cool. Um, so I encourage you, if you're thinking about it, to just go for it. Just do it. If you have the funds. Because it is a big scary purchase. All right. There's that done. These are my bottom panels. Let's go ahead and add the purse feet and then I'm gonna work on my side connectors. about the waffle bags. <laughs> We're gonna waffle them off. Not really waffle, apparently that's a, a real kind of... How does that even happen? The ruby and the rose do seem similar. I actually thought this was the ruby bag for a little while in my head, I don't know why. Um, but the ruby bag is just uh, more curved and this bag is more straight so I think the ruby is a gusseted bag and this one is not really CJ why why are you making so much noise I'm just kidding it's fine Yeah, they are very heavy machine. 
I sent your nameplates video to Jess from Oakland Roots and she went with Bruce and got hers from there. Oh, very cool. I don't know where Ben is. Uh, any rivet for sale? Are we out of rivets? I think we have rivets still in stock. Um, I know we're low on stock. There's more coming in 40-ish days. hair done next week. I'm super excited. I like the Ruby made one with glitter vinyl. That's awesome. Yeah, the Ruby, like, I really want to sew my way through certain um, pattern designers. I think that would be so fun and just do their, like, whole collection, you know? With their permission, of course. That wasn't really something I thought of when I started making bag tutorials that you should get the permission from the designer. Um, I have since learned and have started asking. <laughs> Most don't seem to mind, but some do, and I get that. It's your work. Um, you should have control of how it is presented. But let me make a video. Heading. Okay, so purse feet added. I'll set that aside and work on my side connectors. Um, which is a better bag label or bag tag? The metal ones or cork riveted on them or material ones to tuck inside for someone just starting out selling? I would say go with a woven label to start out selling um, just because it's a lot um, cheaper to start out with. Um, but it's, it's really just up to you what you feel comfortable spending the money on and what you like the look of. Um, am I writing new bag patterns? I am working on one for the Valora handbag. Um, it's going to come in a small and a large and this this is it. I've been carrying the smaller round for like my wallet and chapstick when I go to Target and stuff and I don't need my big old diaper bag. So I'm loving that. Um, okay, so on the bag I made for this customer first, her strap connector ripped. Um, I used the connectors from the Elaine handbag that I designed and for some reason with the vinyl, I guess I didn't interface it or something, but I saw my friend Nikki Shout out to you, love you. Um, she used waterproof canvas in her strap connector to help strengthen it, especially with a thinner vinyl. Genius, because how many times do you have a scrap of waterproof canvas left over when you're done cutting, what? Dead, alive, because it's amazing. So I just cut one inch pieces of waterproof canvas to stabilize my vinyl for these connectors. And I just, what? Amazing. So I used waterproof canvas to hold it in place. And like normally I wouldn't take it to such a high regard, but I know that she is so picky about quality um, and durability and all that good stuff. So I was like, I'm stealing that, but giving full credit. <laughs> so, yeah. I can definitely feel a thickness to it, of course. Um, but it's not using up interfacing that you don't necessarily have to use because you got scraps of waterproof canvas. She is so picky. I love her for it, though.
So Felicia says she loves this community. Everyone shares their learnings. I could not agree more. Such a good community. All right, so for my strap connectors, um, I'm sliding it down a little bit further than halfway because the top is going to hold most of the weight. You don't want it to be halfway and then come apart or anything like that. So clip that. Yeah, so for the velour bag, it's probably gonna be around May that I release the pattern, just because I don't wanna rush my testers. If it's gonna take me four, two months to write the pattern, I'm not gonna be like, okay, and you need a week to finish it and give me your notes. That's just rude. That and I like to use the bag, make sure it holds up, etc. So yeah, that's that's what's going on there. Also, I get so scared about how to write a pattern um, because everyone learns in a different way, and I just get um, analysis paralysis. I guess would be the best way to describe it. I get so scared, like people are going to not like the way it's written or this or that. And that's just my own anxiety issue. I feel like creative, a lot of creative people suffer from anxiety. All right, so I'm marking out half an inch along all of the bottom corners, etc., so I know where to start and stop sewing. I don't really have to do that with this bottom panel. Um, Joy says she also uses waterproof canvas on the wrong side of cork or vinyl for extra strength when I sew on strap connectors to the body of the bag so the connector doesn't rip through. I love that. Wendy said she's found my patterns easy to read and follow. I appreciate that <laughs> because each one probably took anywhere from 40 to 100 plus hours to write and develop. It's a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna sew these main panels together and attach my side connectors. I know I'm kind of jumping around, but. Yes. that open. So this is where um, whoever commented would add waterproof canvas to the back side of this little piece. I think that's such a good idea. I'm not going to do it, but that's just because I don't want to get up and get waterproof canvas. And I think that this will hold up. So I'm going to sew a box stitch since I don't want to add rivets. I'm using a piece of leather, the hardware to make sure nothing gets messed up. And you want to make sure that your side seam is laying open so nothing sits weird. Um, I think the strap connectors for this bag are meant to be sewn into that top seam, but this is stronger in my experience or in my head. Um, it will hold up longer than in that side, that top seam. And with her already having a bag break, um, I really wanna make sure that it's gonna be nice and durable. Cause it might've been that it got caught on something and ripped or whatever, but I'm not gonna question a customer. That just seems like a bad customer service. Um, and she really didn't use the bag long. So anyway, you didn't come here for that story. Okay, 
So there is that strap connector attached. And we'll repeat on the other side. Um, does the walking foot eliminate the need for a hump jumper? Not necessarily, no. Um, the walking foot makes it easier to sew on vinyl, but it doesn't necessarily make it easier to go over thick spots to thin spots. It does help because it's a stronger machine, but there are still times where I will need to grab something to help me go over a height difference. Great question. Especially on a domestic machine, a uh, walking foot, they're so bulky and awkward. Um, anytime people are like, do you have tutorials for domestic machines? I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have the patience. Been there, done that, can't go back. Don't make me. Not that they can't work. Not that there's anything wrong with people that make bags on a domestic. I'm not, you guys know, I'm not trying to be like that, but I just. Yeah, once you know, once you go industrial, you can't go back. Is there a minimum thickness vinyl you make your bags? Um, very good question. Uh, not really. No, if I like the way a vinyl looks, um, I will use it. It may require interfacing, but um, yeah. I haven't touched my poor domestic in months, yeah. Um, someone actually commented on one of my videos and was like, don't lie, we know you have a domestic machine. I was like, I, I don't. <laughs> like, I gave them to people who needed them, but also like, Sorry, I gave you a really crappy machine because I ran them into the ground sewing bags on them. I just thought that was really funny and kind of rude. Like, you don't know me. You don't know my life. I mean, you kind of do. All right, so I'm finding the center and snipping to attach the bottom panel. Lauren, have you seen the Luz Marina Divider Bag by Aura Rosa tutorial that Saya Swag did? They named you as a person they would allow to do their... Oh, very cool. Um, I did not see the tutorial. I saw that she did a tutorial, but I haven't watched it, no. But yeah, that bag looks incredible. Um, it just doesn't look like something that I would make right now. If I had all the time in the world, I would make all the bags in the world. Whew, would I? Um, I can't justify the cost of an industrial. I'll just have to fight with my domestic since I'm uh, only a home hobbyist. Yeah, that's that's fair. Is there a free arm with an industrial machine? That would be a cylinder arm with a um, flatbed attachment. All 
All right, so I'm lining up my center snips. I'm gonna use these clips. Um, I still have to make my zipper panel. I haven't forgotten. I'm just putting it off. I don't love making zipper panels. I love zipper panels, but I don't love making them. Um, Bonbon bon said, what about something like the Janome HD9, which is a semi-industrial, it's like a domestic that can sew thicker things. Um, and I believe Lavender and Twine has that, um, Erica. And then I know that um, Kelly Rao of It's So Kelly with uh, L-L-E-Y, she has done a review video on it. I think so. I think she has anyway. I haven't watched it, but I did get to sew on one and it seemed really cool, but without making an actual bag with the right thread, etc. I don't know. And sadly, I don't have the ability to purchase a ton of machines to try. Um, Jody says that she can't, they can't say enough amazing things about their HD9. Did not mean to assume gender. Um, Oh, nice. CJ's working on the baked potatoes. We're having twice baked potatoes and steak and green beans for dinner. I'm pretty stoked. Everyone is a she to me, and that's just not the way it goes. I'm working on saying they more often. <laughs> Is that a cat? No, that's Dorothy. Hey, Cindy. Okay. So squaring the bottom now. Oh, very cool. Um, Little Stitcher Sews says that she loves her HD9 and bought a flatbed table for it, and she calls it her faux industrial. <sighs> Nita says, I only make bags and quilts for fun, but I feel I need every kind of machine. I'm kind of with you on that. I mean, I do this as a business, making bags, but, like, I want to try all the machines. Yes, Alex, as a they, I appreciate you being patient with those of us who aren't knowledgeable and allowing us to learn, you know. Not everyone's pronouns are the same. Oh, um, I was at Michael's, I still feel so guilty about it. Like I wanna cry, I feel so guilty about it. But um, someone helped me with a coupon. Dorothy was screaming her head off and I was so flustered. And she was like, oh, your baby is so cute. And I was like, oh, thank you. Did you hear that? The nice lady said you look cute. And then I later saw that they had a he, him badge on. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, it's the worst. Um, so to him, I apologize. I haven't stopped thinking about it. They probably got over it. They're used to it, but that doesn't make it okay. Anyway, honest mistake when your kid is crying. True, but the, you know, ah, doesn't make it okay. And like she was just screaming so loud, like worse than this, just like red in the face, screaming her little head off.
I hate when people refer to me in even emails as Laura, so I can't imagine how frustrating it would be to be misgendered, you know? It's not, not nice. So the last thing we need to do is that zipper panel attachment. I was about to say, oh no, I forgot to add my zipper, my zipper feet, my purse feet, but no, I added them. Okay, checking for holes in the corners. checking this pattern out because I've never seen oh cool um Christine says I'm new to your channel love watching make bags what is your website to purchase your stuff mormino.com <laughs> Kira oh I can comment oh no I cannot Okay, I get called Laura, Laurel, Lori, yeah. I get Lori a lot and I get Laura a lot. And I'm like, Loren. <laughs> uh, although recently it's been Morgan. And I'm like, hmm, okay. my alter ego yeah like like in Bob's Burgers when it's Tina and Dina Karen and Kara yeah Kira 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 that's funny okay goodbye Oh, mister, because your name is Corey, yeah. Yeah, so if we've learned anything from this live, let's just refer to people as they, as often as we can. That's my one of my goals for this year, is to just use the term they. You know? <laughs> Dorothy really is adorable. Okay, so got my zipper ends squared off. Okay. Um. 
I hear the cowardly lion saying it. Yeah, someone, okay, so she's named after the Golden Girls. And someone was like, um, oh, Dorothy, that's such a good name, like from Wizard of the Oz. And I was like, oh, yeah. There's nothing better than a gorgeous zipper panel. Unless it's a gorgeous zipper panel I didn't have to make. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Wouldn't that be awesome to buy, like, pre-made zipper panels? <laughs> well, then it's not your bag. I don't, you know. Okay. Thank you. It's makeup. I love makeup. It makes me look great. <laughs> I don't require it, but it is very fun for me. Um, I recently discovered your sewing and so enjoy watching you make bags and waltz. You are so talented. Oh, well, thank you so much. I also need to make some new things. I feel like I just make the same things over and over and over again. But, I mean, technically, if you're buying templates for bags, those are expensive, and you want to make those bags over and over again. <laughs> Hello, Ruth. Um, one tip I have for zipper panels is start and stop your stitching like an eighth of an inch from the outer edge, and that'll help it look a little bit cleaner. Uh, that's one thing I'm actually kind of scared about with my new pattern that I'm writing is how tricky it is. Like, it's it's not easy, easy, but it's not hard if you're just paying attention, but it's a lot to pay attention to. So, I just get scared people are going to hate it. And it's like, well, yeah, you're putting it out in the world. People are probably going to hate it. That's fine. panel done and I always like to cut my waterproof canvas longer than I need it to be so that um, it doesn't end up too short or anything like that so okay I'm gonna unzip my zipper panel a little bit it's so much easier to sew when the zipper isn't in the way so I like to kind of clip it and then move my zipper completely out of the way but you want to make sure that it's still even so that's a little tricky there we go <laughs> we'll do that okay right sides together Lauren, I received my zipper and hardware order. I really love your items. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lauren, you must have a wonderful foundation in order for your... I actually am... Like, I don't have a lot of foundation on. Um, oh, <laughs> Teresa said, we've seen you without makeup. You're too beautiful. I meant you don't look like you have a newborn. Uh, important question. Where do you get waterproof canvas from? I get it from FWD Fabrics. Um, but fabric.com also sells it. Um, I believe you can purchase it off of Amazon as well. Some people have gotten it at Walmart. If you have a Walmart close to you that sells fabric. And you can, of course, use whatever you want for lining. Um... That's just what I like. 
No, your face and your foundation. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we're at an hour and 20 minutes. Not too bad. Hopefully we can finish this up in the next 20 minutes or so. Why are you making that noise? Why do you sound unhappy? Are you having bobbin issues? spot in my bobbin. Don't you hate when that happens? Has he fed her? I buy Oxford 600D. It's the same thing but a different name of waterproof canvas. Very good to know. Okay, so I'm going to snip the center of this zipper panel. the center of my lining panel, top and bottom, because we have to attach the bottom panel as well. Will a rolling foot work in place of a silicone foot? Um, I really can't say, cause I don't know. I have not used either of that kind of foot, so maybe someone can answer your question. All right, so I'm gonna start by attaching the zipper panel to the side with the zipper so that my zippers are going in the same direction. zipper panel face up on your lining panel and the top of your lining panel face down over top of that. Sew that on. and then top stitch that. Um, the pattern has you top stitch the zipper panel up. I, I just, it doesn't look right in my head, so I'm not gonna do it. I tried it on the first one and it, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't look right in my head. I wonder if you like butterfly stitched it, what it would be like. Maybe I'll try it someday. Okay. Again, zipper panel in the center. You could baste it if you wanted to. I'll go ahead and add my top panel. Hi Lauren, is it as cold by you as here in Chicago? Yeah, it's pretty cold. I'm not, 
I mean, I am kind of far from Chicago, like six hours, but five hours? So I am sewing my lining just a little bit wider the bottom half so that it's not baggy. That is an unhappy bobbin. I'm not happy bobbin. Come on. So what has probably happened is when I wound the bobbin, something went awry. So I'm just gonna grab a different one. This is why I make several bobbins at once, just in case. And luckily it's in a side seam, not a big deal. I probably don't need to unwind this whole thing, but if I don't do it now, I will never do it. There we go. There was not much left anyway. All right, let's try a different one. <laughs> Every time I change my bobbin, I think of my friend Tracy, who once said to me, and I got like really defensive. I was like, I'll do what I want. But she's like, why do you open the bobbin case? You don't even look. I was like, I'll do what I want. And then later, I mean, I never said that to her. She'd probably laugh if she heard this, um, that I thought that. But she's, she's right. I don't look. Hi, Kim. She says, I love how you make it look so easy. It's just years of practice. That's all. We know it's not easy. Um, Kira, yeah, promote that channel. She's got such a professional setup. It's amazing. She's got like microphone, several camera angles. I'm like, dang girl, I'm so lazy. <laughs> so lazy. All right, attaching the bottom panel. I'm starting on the side where I added my zipper. So I'm gonna leave quite a bit of an opening to birth through versus the zippered pocket, just cause we can leave ourselves a really nice big opening. Make sure you're only sewing a half an inch. Okay, and make sure that your zipper pocket is open. We'll work on the other side now. On this side, I will fully sew. My cameras are potatoes. One of my cameras is a webcam I used to chat with my husband on because I met him online. Um, Mindy says, I'm sure you've answered this a thousand times, but I'm gonna be buying a sewing machine next month. What is a good one to start with? I, I really wish that I could give you an answer, um, but I don't know. What's a couple of bag patterns that you can't wait to sew? That's a really good question. I really wanna make a Lynn Sport backpack from Lynn's Handmade. She's released so many fun patterns and I haven't had a chance to like make any of them. Um, I would love to make some from Aura Rosa. 
I just haven't had a chance. Um, what is another one that I had cut out and like ready to go, but I haven't done? I don't know. Oh, the lolly backpack. I don't have that pattern. I think it's called the lolly backpack. That one looks so cool. Um, hey Ben, how you doing? Go to your spot. Go on. Yeah. Um, and like I really, I haven't tried vinyl, not vinyl, I've tried plenty of vinyl binding. Um, and the Linsport one, you use waterproof canvas to bind it. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Ban. Yeah, the moon wig. Um, uh, that one I purchased, the Rudinasia. I think I said that very wrong. Again, such beautiful pattern. I just, I love that there are new designers popping up with very complicated, gorgeous patterns. I just, I love it. And then um, Georgia Girl Stitches. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, um, but she has some pretty awesome patterns as well. She just released the Gabby Day Trip bag. Um, it's not one that I will make. Um, I love the idea of it. It's just not one that I would, I mean, it's not something you reach for every day, but it's a really incredible pattern. It's huge. So I feel like if the time comes when I need it, I would absolutely purchase and sew it up. Uh, waterproof canvas binding. Once you do it that way, you'll never go back. <laughs> the right side of waterproof canvas is the side that doesn't feel smooth. Yes, that is correct. I don't think you were asking. I think you were telling someone else. Okay, so I'm going to turn this right side out. I'm going to just baste my zipper. I'm cutting off a lot of this. I do not want my zipper pull coming off. So I just add a little stitch. Um, Rainbow Pixie Crafts is in the UK and sells hardware. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I haven't done a pattern chat in a while, and it's because nobody's been posting the links on the pattern chats, and I've been so lazy. I mean, I'm always on Facebook, but I'm just scrolling because I'm breastfeeding. So it's just like, I have one free hand. I can only ever type emojis. <laughs> So turning the lining right side out and just popping that inside the bag. Make sure your handles and everything else stay inside. Oh, happy birthday. Line up your side panels. Oh, hi, Alice. She says this is the first time she's watching live and her husband is watching. Fascinated. Welcome. Although right now, at least 60 people aren't here for me. They're here for Ben, who's off camera. What are you doing, Ben? can't move you any closer. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. Okay, so we're going to clip. Whew. Having some flashbacks of the first time I made this bag. <laughs> it didn't turn out well. The second time was great. Um, so my handles are a little bit shorter than they should be. So this is going to make it kind of tricky to sew around, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. 
Um, and this would be a good time to use staples, something like that. Happy birthday, Shauna. Um, just to help kind of keep everything in place. And I'm clipping to line everything up first, just to make sure that my linings and my exterior fit nicely together. start on a side panel. I'll go ahead and switch up the camera angle. Whee! Ben reminds me of my cat Onyx. Oh nice. I've had people ask me where I get the stickers and stuff on my machine and they're all available on my website. Well, not all, but like 90% of them. Okay, here we go. So sewing it with the lining face up would probably be easier but I prefer to do it this way. It's just, just what I do. So you do what works for you, I'll do what works for me. Okay. And when you're sewing around that curve, you wanna make sure that you are not catching your handle within that seam. Can you guys see okay? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I cannot read comments, so I do apologize. If you are asking a question, um, I will answer it when I look, if you ask it again, because I don't want to scroll through. give like dead eyes to the camera. I know a lot of people hate that. I had someone comment on a video once and they were like, wow, you really need to fix your nails. They're a mess. I was like, what? what? Is that what we're worried about here? I know it's the internet. It's fine. But I was just like, wow. My curve over here doesn't look great, so what I'm going to do is just very gently, like, stitch into the seam allowance and kind of re-sew it. Okay. Much better. Uh, this is Captain Benjamin Sisko, in case anyone was wondering if he has a full name. 
My machine is named after an anime character, and that's awesome. My machine's name is Dean from Supernatural. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna snip these curves. I'm not going to trim my seam allowance at all, especially at those handles. Oof, we do not want to trim that down. Obviously, don't snip your stitches. Snipped stitches need stitches. Dean, yes, great choice. And then that Juki is Sam. This is weaker. Supernatural's on the TV, yes. I love Supernatural so much. So much. Okay, here we go. Grabbing the bottom first. I know I'm crazy, but when you sew alone through the night, you tend to talk to things around you. I mean, yeah. Technically, I'm talking to myself right now. Okay. Uh, yes, Deep Space Nine. My husband named him. I'm I I haven't watched Star Trek. I'm just checking my corners to make sure they look good. And then just kind of push along that curve. Make sure your stitches looking good there. That double handle is just so satisfying looking. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to flip the lining back through the zipper pocket. I am not the, the original creator of this method. I always like to throw that out there. Will I ever sell Supernatural fabric? Probably not. I feel like there's just so many people who have made it. We'll see. Um, I'm kind of trying to steer away from pop culture fabrics um, just because no, I like. I'd rather it be my original, original on, concept, artwork and concept. I don't. I don't know. I feel like there's just so many custom fabric groups that I want to make sure mine are a little bit different. Something that you can't find there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So we're gonna sew up this bottom piece here. <laughs> when I do this part of the bag, I like body slam it on the table. Supernatural did end. It was a good it was a good ending though. Sorry. Holy crap. 
have that on me. I'm almost done. Okay. Um, I started. The, I messaged on here. Oh, and, I didn't see it. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. A bunch of people were like, "Oh, I'm on my way over." Oh, okay. I saw someone say that, but what yeah. was it? Uh, I, I just said that I started, started the potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, I heard you yeah. start the timer. Did you feed her anything? No. No. Yet. Okay. Okay. She has been kind of sucking on my arm. Oh, I'm bit. sure she's starving. Um, so and there, the first round will be done in about 20 minutes. Perfect. And then I just need to cut them open, scrape everything out, and then put them back in. Okay. Yep. I will be done with this in probably 15 minutes. Okay. Um, if she starts to like scream and cry, you can give her some of the form the fridge milk. Okay. If you want. Sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm going around the edge and clipping. I should be able to see comments now. CJ is good with Dorothy, yeah. He needs to... <laughs> Every bag deserves a good body slam. Oh, yeah, I do have the Spider-Man fabric. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe in April I can work on my custom order list. I have probably, like, 15 emails of people who have been waiting on custom orders to happened since like July it sounds like such a long time but like pregnancy really took it out of me oh thank you yeah when Dorothy naps like pretty much the only thing I can accomplish is the laundry and my nails sometimes yeah, I should have pushed this out more before I closed up the lining. I guess I could rip the lining open. I just hate to do that. There we go. Um, I will probably not design any Betty Boop fabric. And I have never seen Hamburger, Hamburger? Hamburglar fabric. different than the first time I made it. it. Seems lighter almost. I remember it being so much smaller. All right. Here we go. Let us top stitch. Oh, Jojo, too cute. Um, so the watercolor roses, I will not be releasing it in like a different colorway just because I it's not gonna look the same, but I do have like the kitchen floral that's coming. So it'll just be different roses, different colors. Um, but I don't want to like change the colors of it. It is what it is, because it's a of watercolor that I did. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Let's get ready to top stitch. Even after the body slam, we needed to.
that the customer likes this bag as a replacement bag. Otherwise, I guess it's up for sale. <laughs> there are several bags on my website that I cannot believe are still available. I'm like, what? How did no one want that? Checking comments really quick. We need it woven. Yes, the kitchen floral is coming for um, March. I should say this morning like Dorothy slept nine hours I still fed her um, but then Ben laid on me it's the little things in life am I right attach my zipper end and this bag is finished. It's like being in a secret underground fabric club. If you guys have any questions before I hop off, let me know. I'm gonna add this zipper end, but then I am out of here. Excellent bag, thank you. You are an excellent viewer. Back at ya. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, I do have character stuff. So in March, I will show you guys before I hop off what the fabrics are. Uh, the waterproof canvas, uh, I think it's the aqua. Pretty sure the aqua. Yep, I love bag stock bags too. She's awesome. And I just, I love that, like, I've said it before, but you can grow as a pat as a pattern designer, as a bag maker with her patterns, because she has some easier, simple ones, and then she's got some more complicated ones. She has ones that use similar flap options, etc. so you can, like, kind of grow, you know. Super fun. Okay, so I'm adding the crossbody strap that she had with her other bag. Done. And Dorothy is ready to eat. She's like, Mom, help. Okay. Grab my water so I don't lose it. Are there any questions you guys have? Um, my rivet press is from Gold Star Tool. I do not recommend purchasing from there. Although I do love mine, but a lot of people have had issues. So there's the bag all finished. Yeah, let's go on a field trip. There's the bag that broke. 
Um, oh crud. Oh yeah, here is the kitchen floral that's coming March 1st. The Pascal floral also coming March 1st. Oh, and then the watercolor florals is March 1st. Yes, Oakla Roots just did a new Rivet Press video. Where is water? Um, yeah, the existing watercolor floral. Um, and then these are the fabrics that are still in stock. We've got a little bit of Poison Apple, it looks like, and a little bit of the Flying Keys, last bit of Sandworm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they changed something. I don't know what happened. It's very frustrating. So I feel bad that I recommend it to so many people and they purchased. Some people have been happy. Some people haven't been. It's sad. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions before I go? Do you mind sharing how you get your Juki serviced? I've never gotten my machine serviced. Um, you change the oil, you can do that yourself. Um, change the belt, you can do that yourself. I've been pretty lucky. Okay, tell Dorothy we love her. Okay, I will. I will see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me.